All right, let's continue. Now we're having a chest tube inserted into the pleural space, and this is the lung. As we said, now the flow usually goes from higher pressure to lower pressure. So if the high pressure is here, the air and fluid will move this direction. But what if the pressure became higher here at this end, then things will be reversed and we'll be creating pneumothorax instead of fixing it. So how do you solve this? How do we solve this issue? Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna create a chamber here and fill it with two centimeter of water. See, this is water. Two centimeter. And put this tube or catheter all the way into the water. Here, it's exactly if we have a cup of water and you have a straw in, try to blow in, you will create bubbles. But try to suck the air back. No, you only suck liquids, right? And this is the same thing. This is a safety mechanism where air will flow in, gets into the water, and can go out this way, but will never go back into the chest. So that's the first problem we kind of solved, right? But let's say there is fluid there, whether blood or uh, pulse, whatever, then it will flow and then this two centimeter water C will become four centimeter, right? Because it will fill this area here. And then the hydrostatic pressure will overcome the pressure here and things start flowing in reverse. So what do we do? So simply the easy solution for this, say they said, let's create another chamber here. And Instead of having chest tube connected directly here, I'm gonna do this. Let me just do this, just bear with me. And instead, we're gonna have the catheter come right here on this collection chamber. And anything, fluid, everything will be here, right? And then, create a connection from here this direction and I hope you get it you get the idea of this so just you directly into the collection department where the blood or fluid gets here now the air will go through this into the water seal. Now we solve the collection issues and we will not, the water will remain at two centimeter. Let's say now we're not draining adequately because now the draining going passively by just the pressure here is higher than the pressure here, right? But let's say there is a large amount of fluid or air and we need to drain more effectively, then what do we do? Okay, so they thought about it and said, let's do this, let's have an external suction source and then have a chamber here and they said okay we'll connect this suction here and then connect the suction to this chamber to the water seal chamber so now we having an extra negative pressure or suction pressure applied here to the water seal chamber this will reflect on a stronger and negative pressure in this to drain more of uh, to drain more of whatever is in the chest cavity so this is the extensor now they said okay when i put a safety mechanism because external pressure if it's a uh, suction pressure it becomes too high can injure the lung what do we do they said okay Let's put a water seal of 20 centimeter of water. This will prevent the negative suction pressure from surpassing 20 centimeter. How? Because if this became 40, that's where they create this to the atmosphere. If the suction pressure became more than the 20 centimeter, more than the hydrostatic pressure, the air will overcome this and start 
coming here and then here reducing the extent pressure the bottom line the lung will have only negative pressure based on the water seal if it's 20 centimeter it will only get 20 centimeter regardless even if the external suction was 60 or 80 or 40 as a safety mechanism so this is how chest tube this is a three chambers chest tubes all chest tubes used to have these three chambers or three bottles chest tubes now of course now you don't see that you see all these three chambers are now created in one single drainage system to improve safety and make it really close drainage system because here as you see anytime there is a default problem with the tubes here or here or the circuits will have a problem to solve all of that luckily now we have the single unit drainage system which i will demonstrate next video thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board